I mean, I kind of want to be a filmmaker. You kind of want to be a filmmaker? <sighs> Let's talk about it. I have all the answers. I can give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to become a director. No, I can't. And nobody can. And anybody that tells you they can is full of shit. The point I'm trying to get across is that there's no one way to really do this thing we're all trying to do. There is no singular way to do it. Don't go buying books or online classes of people telling you how to become a director. Because once they do it, once they go down that path, then the door closes behind them. And it's closed, you have to find your own door. It, it, because they did it that way doesn't mean you can and it means you probably won't. How do we get to the top? How do we get to the point where we can direct films for a living? I mean, that's the dream, right? For me, absolutely. But the thing that we all face is that there are different paths to get there. I'm gonna list off three directors real quick and I'm gonna tell you how each of them got to where they are today. David Fincher, high school projectionist, hired as a production assistant, then he went on to do commercials and music videos, started his own production company, and then shot Alien 3, and you know where it goes from there. J.J. Abrams, he wrote film scores in college, uh, he wrote a couple features, one got uh, bought by Touchstone, and then after that he went on to do animation uh, on Shrek and just worked with computers for a while. Then after that he uh, co-wrote Armageddon and did the theme for it composed the theme for it, and then after that, he went on to start Bad Robot, his production company, then he did Alias, Lost, then he directed uh, Mission Impossible 3, and you know where it goes from there. Quentin Tarantino, he was hired to write from Dust Till Dawn, and then after that, he went on and um, just wrote a bunch of different scripts, sold some, didn't sell some, then he self-financed Reservoir Dogs, him and his friends did, and then he went on to do Pulp Fiction after Reservoir Dogs was a huge hit, Pulp Fiction was also a huge hit at Sundance, and you know where it goes from there. The reason that I chose those three filmmakers is because they all have vastly different ways that they got to where they are. Whether it started in TV, commercials, music videos, or film festivals, they're all different, and those are all ways that you could still do, but they're kind of dying out. They all went down a different path that the door closed for behind them, and if you try and do the same thing, it's not going to yield the same result. Because you're not David Fincher, you're not J.J. Abrams, and you're not Quentin Tarantino. And neither am I. And even now you've got internet personalities trying to become directors and they have a good advantage, which is the internet. That's the medium that they're using. And we as millennial filmmakers have that advantage. We have an outlet and that's awesome. Corridor Digital is a great example. They have made a ton of stuff, uh, but they were just handed money to do a, you know, Battlefield uh, series. And, you know, no one's going to hand you money to do a Battlefield series. You've got to get there on your own, different path, different ways and different jobs. We aren't gonna do the same thing and get the same results because they already did it. It's not like you can't, but it's just not likely. So let's find our own path. Find your path, don't lose sight, keep going and don't give up. Stay on your path, continue to work, continue to make things. You will become a director, you will succeed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This has been a Runaway Brand Production and I'll see you guys next time.